Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to write a program to create a class with data member, principal, time and rate. Create member functions to accept data values, to compute simple interest and to display result. So let us begin with the preprocessor directives hash include input output stream dot h hash include console input output dot h header file now i am going to define a class with name si that is simple interest curly open brace and here i am going to declare a variable of type integer that is time next float type of variables such as principal and rate of interest now in a public section i'm going to write wide get data get data is a user defined function curly open brace and here i'm going to ask the user to enter these three values so here in a double quotation mark i'll write enter the principal time and rate of interest backward slash n and the double quotation mark and put semicolon here we will receive using scene statement principal first variable second variable we need to take time stream extraction operator and rate put semicolon curly closing brace next i'm going to define one more user defined function the return type is float the name of the user defined function is compute underscore si curly open brace and here i'm going to return and we know that how to calculate simple interest so the formula to calculate simple interest is ptr divided by 100 that is principal amount into time into rate divided by 100 so here return I'm going to write principal into time into rate divided by 100.0 because we are returning floating point type of data closing bracket put semicolon curly closing brace now I'm going to define one more user defined function that is used to display the result wide display curly open brace here I'm going to write C out. I'll write the calculated simple interest. Simple interest is equal to. Then I'm going to call this particular function definition. Here I'll write compute underscore SI and put semicolon curly closing brace. So now I have to close this class definition. So put one more closing brace and put semicolon. So this indicates it's a termination point of a class definition. Now I have to create the object of this class type and then only I have to access get data and display. So let us write wide main function curly open brace and here I'm going to write the name of the class capital S I and I'm going to write yes as an object of this type now i'm going to write clr ssr function which is optional if you want to write you can write otherwise you can omit this so with the help of this object i'm going to call get data function so i'll write yes dot get data and put semicolon next i'm going to call yes dot display so here i'm going to write yes dot display then i'm going to write get ch then curly closing brace for this main function now let us check out how exactly this program works so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the principal time and rate of interest i'm going to write here enter the principal time and rate of 
interest so here you can observe that always execution of c++ program starts from main function only so once we call get data control directly jumps to get data and it will ask the user to enter these three values so using scene i'm going to enter for example 1000 so that is principal amount next is time duration i'm going to enter two years next rate of interest i'm going to type 5 and then press enter so after executing this particular statement again control comes back to main function and then it is going to call yes dot display here control jumps to yes dot display means what this is a user defined function that consisting of this particular statement so it is going to print simple interest as it is here it is going to print simple interest is equal to here you can observe we have got a function call so after encountering this particular statement the compiler jumps to this particular function definition which returns principal into time into rate divided by 100 so principal amount is what here it is 1000 into time is 2 years into rate of interest is 5 divided by 100 so these two zeros these two zeros will get cancelled next 10 2 is a 20 20 5 is a 100 so here simple interest is equal to 100 will be displayed now it's time for execution of this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error now let us execute this program by pressing ctrl f9 here you can observe it is asking the user to enter the principal time and rate of interest for example i am going to enter principal as 1000 and time is 2 years and rate of interest is 5 and now i am going to press enter here it is showing simple interest is equal to 100 i hope you understood if yes then please write down in the comment box as is yes. thank you